Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will learn how to install Ubuntu Server 24.04 on VirtualBox step by step. This guide is perfect for the beginners or anyone looking to set up a virtual machine for development or testing purposes. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a fully functional Ubuntu Server running on VirtualBox. Now let's get started. Before we begin, make sure we have the following things in place. VirtualBox installed on your system. If you don't have it yet, then install VirtualBox on your operating system. We need minimum 2 GB of RAM, 2 GHz dual core processor, 25 GB free disk space and internet connectivity. The first step is to download Ubuntu Server 24.04 ISO file. For that, go to Google search download Ubuntu Server. Click on the first Ubuntu official link. It will take us to this page. Make sure this server tab is selected here and then click on this download button. For the interest of time, I have already downloaded on my system. So I am skipping this download step. Let's move on to creating our virtual box virtual machine. Open the virtual box. From the machine tab, click on new to create a new virtual machine. Give your VM a name like Ubuntu Server 24.04. Server 24.04. Select the ISO file you have just downloaded. Under the downloads folder, select this Ubuntu 24.04 Live Server AMD64. Once the ISO file is Select it, it will automatically detect the type as Linux and version as Ubuntu 64 bit. Click on this skip unattended installation and then click next. Allocate at least 2 GB of RAM and 2 CPUs. Click on next. Allocate at least 40 GB of disk space. Then click next. Click on finish. Now select this virtual machine and then click on the settings. Go to the network tab. Make sure the LAN card of this virtual machine is attached to the bridge adapter. So in my case, bridge adapter would be Wi-Fi device. And why we are attaching the LAN card to the bridge adapter? Because I want my server to be accessed from the outside or over the network. So click on OK. Now start the virtual machine. Once the virtual machine boots up, we will get this screen. Choose the first option, try or install Ubuntu server, hit enter. Select the language that suits your installation. You can use up and down arrow keys to select the language and hit enter. In this window, you need to select the keyboard layout. I'm going with the default uh, English US layout. Choose done and hit enter. In this window, you need to choose the type of installation, how you want to install Ubuntu server. So I'm going with the first option Ubuntu server, which will install all the required packages to set up the Ubuntu server. Second option is you can go ahead and install this Ubuntu server with minimize options, means it will install the minimal packages. If you want to install third party drivers as well during the installation, then you choose the third option. So I'm going with the first option, choose done and hit enter. In this network configuration step, it will detect the interface which is attached to the server and it will try to assign the IP address. In our case, we have already mapped this interface to the bridge adapter, which is connected to my modem. So it will get the IP for the DSCP server. Choose done and hit enter. If your system needs proxy server to connect to the internet, then specify the proxy details here, else you can skip. In this step, the mirror location is being tested. What it will do in the backend, it will try to run apt update command. If the mirror tests are passed, then you are good to proceed. Select turn and hit enter. In this step, we need to define how the storage will be configured for our server. So there are two options. First one is use entire disk. What it will do? It will create the partitions automatically for us along with the logical uh, volume group. The second option is custom uh, storage layout. It will give us the option to create the manual partitions. 
So I'm going with the first option, use an entire desk, choose done and then hit enter. This window is displaying the file system summary that what exact partitions will be created. As you can see, we have two partitions slash and slash boot. The installer has created Ubuntu hyphen VG as a volume group of around 38 GB out of which 19 GB is free. We can use this later whenever it is required. Choose done and hit enter. Choose continue to write changes to the disk. Fill in the user details along with the server name. Choose down arrow key, select done and hit enter. In this step, you need to select whether you want to go with the Ubuntu Pro or you want to skip. So I'm going with the skip. So I'll select the second option and then choose continue, hit enter. If you want to access your Ubuntu server from the outside or over the network, then you must install the OpenSSH server. So choose this option using the space bar and then use down arrow key, choose done and hit enter. If you want to install additional applications during the installation, then choose this application that suits your installation and then choose done and hit enter. As you can see, installation has started. It will take five to 10 minutes depending upon your system resources. Once the installation is completed, Installer will prompt us to reboot the system and remove the installation media. As you can see, installation is completed. Choose reboot now, hit enter. Press enter to remove the installation media. In our case, it's ISO file. After the reboot, we will get this login screen. Use the same username and password that we have created during the installation. In my case, it was Linux Techie. Once we are logged in, then we will see these details like the system load, IP address assigned to the interface. So in our case, ENP0S3 is the interface and 192.168.1.16 is the IP address assigned to this interface. We can also verify this IP address using the command IP space add space show. The IP is 192.168.1.6. Okay, try to access this server from the outside. In my case, I will be using mobile XRAM to access this server. Start the local terminal there and type ssh space username is Linux Techie at the rate IP address of your Ubuntu server 192.1.16. Specify the password. Click on yes. We are logged in into our server. Now run the command df space hyphen caps th. It will show us the file system which are created. So we can see it has created two partition. One is slash which is mounted on slash mount point. Another one is boot partition which is mounted on slash boot. If you type cat space etc os release, you will see the os details. This confirms that we have successfully installed the Ubuntu server 24.04 that's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have found it useful and informative. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials like this. See you in the next video. Bye. Have a nice day.